Hi guys, so it's been a while since I have posted a video um, and what a better way to kick it off with a glossy box unboxing. I know that usually between each glossy box unboxing that I do, um, I tend to do a few videos but I really haven't been in the mood and when you're not in the mood to film, you just really can't be asked getting up, doing your hair, doing your makeup and stuff like that so I'm really sorry that I haven't been sort of committed once again. Um, but I promise that from now on I will post as many videos as possible. I'm hoping for at least two a week so bear with me because hopefully that's going to happen soon. Like I said I'm going to kick it off with today's video which is the Glossy Box. Um, I read on the Glossy Box Facebook that they are in partnership this month with Super drug um, because it's their I don't know what anniversary it is but it's a pretty big anniversary in Glossy Box store let's do a collaboration with them I'm hoping it's not just own brand products just super drug products I'm hoping that it's products that super drug sell um, I don't mind the odd super drug product but I'd rather have other brands as well um, so last month I used my Glossy Dots so I didn't actually pay for that box but I'm back to paying it again this month. Um, it's got the sticker on the front which is the, um, I call it the nail polish sticker, um, but it's basically a sticker that allows you to send, within the UK, allows you to send medicines, perfumes and aftershaves, nail varnish, toiletries or medical aerosols. Um, and the two that are ticked here are perfume slash aftershave and nail varnish. So there's definitely a nail varnish in here and maybe some vials. Um, they said that there will be at least four uh, full size products. Um, in each box there's five items. So with four of them already being full size that's pretty decent. But obviously one of them is probably this nail varnish. Okay so let's break into this box. I got it yesterday. Um, but there was quite a bit to do around the house, so I didn't have time to do it. However, today I'm free, so it's happening. Awesome, so inside, 50 years. How oh, many super drugs have been around for 50 years? So it's for the 50th anniversary of Superdrug, and Glossy Box have decided to sort of partner up with them. By the way, sorry if you can hear cars or trucks or anything, because I live on a main road and the windows are open because it's hot, so you might hear some stuff. Um, so yeah, so this collaboration should be pretty good. I'm hoping they do one with Boots, that would be quite good. However, I think Boots have had an anniversary quite recently. And I've got a feeling it was, might have been their 50th or something, so I don't know if that'll be happening. But this box is really cute. I am currently using um, the old Glossy Box boxes as a sort of semi-tripod for this camera. Um, and I've been collecting them all just because I love that every so often you get a limited edition box and it's it feels pretty special so let's get into this so the first thing obviously that you see is the glossy magazine um again i don't really read it because sometimes it can kind of tell you what's in it before you get into the box which is a bit upsetting um but yeah either way um, they've got some like hints and tips for hair, nails, stuff like that. So that is pretty decent. Um, next is the little card that tells you what's in there. But like I said, I don't really go through that until I get to the end of the box. So inside it looks like this, completely covered so you can't see with the ribbon. Not a glossy box ribbon this month. Okay, now inside, oh this looks pretty good, okay, let's have a look, okay so the first thing I can see is a John Frieda Frizz Ease Original 6 Effects Serum, um, eliminates frizz, protects from humidity, protects from heat, smooths, hydrates and tames hair, um, apply to wet hair, my hair is actually wet at the moment so there's a chance that I might try this out. Um, Award winning formula instantly eliminates frizz and repels humidity for glossy silky smooth styles with thermal protectant. This is actually really good because it's getting hotter and we're supposedly having this heat wave which I am yet to see. However today it is really really nice but when I look on my phone it says that there might be thunderstorms coming 
However, with thunderstorms, you need to come to humidity. So again, this will come in handy, rain or shine. So, this looks pretty good. Uh, apply to soaking wet hair. Use sparingly, dispensing one puff of serum into the palm. Rub hands together and distribute evenly throughout hair. Avoid applying directly to roots, because obviously it'll get greasy. Use more or less depending on hair length and thickness. Do not rinse out, style is desired. Um, at the moment, I'm using... I can't remember what it's called, that's really bad. Um, I think it's a pink bottle. No, that's bad. I can't remember what it's called, and I've literally just used it. Um, and that's pretty good because with the ends of my hair being bleached, um, I find that the serums do kind of help keep control of the moisture um, and control the frizz because I have a lot of baby hairs and broken hairs that need taming so this will be good once the other one runs out. Next thing I can see is a Skoll Velvet Smooth Night Mask, softer feet in 24 hours, pro vitamin B5 and vitamin E. Again this is really good for summer because obviously sandals come out. Um, a night mask that stimulates cell regrowth, softer feet in 24 hours, apply and massage on clean and dry feet before going to bed, works and absorbs like a cream. I might actually try this tonight and um, get back to you guys. Also coming up soon is a um, March and April review of the Glossy Box boxes. Um, so I'll basically go back and tell you how I got on with the products, if I used them, if I gave them to someone else and sort of how they did. Um, so yeah, this looks quite good. I'm guessing these are the full size products or two of. So that's one full size product. And the John Frieda Serum looks like that. Quite a small bottle, but with it being serum and only really having to use one pump at a time, it'll last. So that's decent. So far, so good. Next. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. I actually stammered then. Um, Maybelline New York Colour Show in Crystallized, nearly black, and it's a nail polish, and it looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but it's kind of a black polish with different colored flint in it. It's like, there's some reds, oranges, greens, it's sort of holographic, but because it's a dark polish, it doesn't really come out that way. Don't know if that will help. So yeah, but um, I might do a swatching video of that, because that's quite a nice colour. Not really a spring-summer colour, um, but I'm more of a dark nail polish girl anyway, so thanks, that's good. Okay, what have we got next? We have a something in 088 Flamingo. I'm guessing this may be a lipstick. I'm very picky with lipsticks, more than I am polishes, just because of my skin tone. Um, I find that polishes can get away with wearing more colour polishes than I can with lipstick just because it's on my face. Um, but I'm guessing that's what this is. Yes. Um, sorry, I've got this thing such a smart lipstick, but not really my colour. Um, but I mean, it's quite subtle. It feels like a lip gloss. Um, so maybe I can get away with that a bit more than I usually would. Um, but yeah, it looks like that. And it's in the shade 088 Flamingo. Um, I don't know who it is though. But I'll probably find out when we come to looking at the little card. Next item, awesome. Collection Bronze Glow Mosaic. Um, 
bronze glow mosaic powder, number two, radiant bronze mosaic powder to create a natural, a natural, natural sun-kissed glow. Now, bronze is usually smell really good. Right, now the problem that I have with this is that it's shimmery. As I've said in plenty of my videos, you can probably fold the blank in here, my skin is extremely oily. So anything with a shimmer or a cream, I can't really go towards. Um, so this is what it looks like with the case on and then inside it's like a mosaic and then hopefully as I'm moving it around you can see that there's little speckles of sort of shimmer in there. Um, I definitely will give this a go. Um, I was going to put my finger in it but I don't really want to do that. Um, the show you now. The bronzer that I'm currently using is the Bourjois Paris um, Delice de Poudre bronzing powder um, filled with glints of sunshine but this one smells amazing but I find that it's, it doesn't have any sort of shimmer in it like the other one um, but yeah that's what I'm using at the moment just in case you're wondering um, but yeah this will be good I'll, I'll definitely give it a go maybe in the summer um, if I go away which I doubt but anyway um, next we have, so that is one, two, three, four, five, that's five products, um, four of which are definitely full size, however, I'd like to think that this was full size, so I don't know, anyway, uh, next is a perfume vial by Ghost in Eclipse, a fresh fruity floral with essential amber base, now I really like fruity smells, as odd as that sounds, um, so I'm hoping that this will be nice. So I always like having these little perfume vials in my makeup bag or in my handbag. That is quite nice actually. It's like, it definitely smells floral. Like the smell of it makes me think, have I taken my hay fever tablet? That's how floral it smells. Kind of fruity as well. I think it was, it was just floral. I wouldn't be as inclined to wear it, but because it has a slightly fruity kind of base to it, I'm more likely to wear it. So, what seems to be the last thing in the box is a Garnier Body Oil Beauty Oil Infused Nourishing Lotion, Intensive Nourishment and Radiant Finish for Beautifying Oils, Argan, Macadamia, Almond and Rose, and it's for dry skin and it's non-greasy and non-sticky. Now my skin isn't dry necessarily, apart from obviously elbows, knees, hands sometimes. Um, but obviously if you're going on holiday and you're tanning or even if you're just staying home, it might get hot. Um, and obviously the sun can sap out a lot of your moisture. So this would definitely be good. Um, it says, do not apply on face. Can you imagine how greasy it would be if you applied this to your face? Um, but it, I can imagine this being really good. So maybe on the legs, um, I can imagine legs getting really dry um, in the summer um, and so on. So that will be quite good. Um, and that's it. So overall, I've got, if I'm not, I mean, I don't want to lie, but I think this may be the best box so far. Don't want to jinx it because obviously I'd like them to just get better and better or just stay along the same line. Um, but yeah, this seems really good. And let me see if I can get a little card to get some more info. Um, so yeah, the uh, bronze glow mosaic is full size at $2.99. The Maybelline New York Color Show Crystallized Nail Polish in Lily Black is $3.99 and it's a full size product. Um, the Velvet Smooth Overnight Mask is $7.99 and that's a full size product. The John Frieda Frizzies is um, a full size product at $3.99 and the Sheer Conditioning Lipstick, that's also a full size product, that's what I thought, um, and that's $6.99. Um, that, yeah, the lipstick is actually a super drug brand um, and it's called B. I think it's just their, their collection. Um, 
And then the bonus products are the Garnier Oil Beauty Lotion, which are full size, it's 4 dollars for 250ml. And the bonus product again is the Ghost Fragrances Eclipse, and for a 50ml is £33. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, can't complain, I'm, I'm pretty much going to use them all at some point. So, yeah, this box was definitely a good box. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.